now that Halloween's over, I guess I can get back to my normal job. All right. Oh, we're ready to go live now? Well, just give me a second here, will ya? Kicking off the October Digest, one of the things you may have missed is Unraid 7 Beta 3 and Beta 4 both launched in October, with perhaps the biggest news being that the Tailscale plugin has been officially integrated into the Beta 4. So that's something you'll have to look forward to, and there'll be plenty of content to come out about that in the future. Another notable change is Mover Now possesses the ability to transfer files between storage pools. It can also be used to empty array disks with this command that you see here that you could input into the web terminal. I'm not sure who out here needs to hear this, but riser FS is being deprecated. And because of that deprecation, it will also be removed from Unraid in the future. So you can expect to lose that sometime soon. Not getting into the nitty gritty here, but as far as ZFS implementation goes, we now have support for hybrid ZFS pools. There are recovery options when multiple drives fail and Lux encryption gets introduced for ZFS pools and our drives. We now have allocation profiles for our ZFS and ButterFS pools. These will be useful when you have certain number of slots selected uh, so that way you get different RAID configurations. For instance, like ButterFS defaulting to single or RAID 1. On the topic of storage, we now have parallel device spin up and spin down. So you can now spin down devices parallelly, which will help you save some money, hopefully, on your electricity bill. There's improved Lux encryption management, as well as enhanced ZFS integration and allocation with a few bug fixes and optimizations. There are absolutely an entire boatload of changes that have been done to the beta 4 that that honestly, if we went over all of them, this video would be extremely long. So I'm just gonna name a couple more just to wet your beak a little bit. And we get two more integrated plugins, the Dynamics, File Manager, and GUI Search. We also get a upgrade to Memtest 86 Plus, which is much needed in my opinion, so that's be great to see. And again, there are so many more, so be sure to go to the Unraid website and check out all of the changes that were made to the Beta 4. It's great to hear that Unraid has partnered with Tailscale because this is gonna give us a lot more options as far as securing our Docker containers and also gonna allow us to access remote shares more easily with the Tailscale integration. Tailscale within Docker containers enables secure flexible networking and can provide unique machine names for each of the containers. This will allow container specific sharing, reverse proxying with valid certificates, VPN routing through exit nodes, which is a big one, and secure communications across devices on the tail net or regular LAN. Also with remote shares via tail scale, you can securely access your Unraid shares remotely and securely share specific Unraid shares with friends over SMB or NFS using a Docker container while avoiding sharing the entire server for all services. And that right there is actually a big one because that means you can have your stuff on a friend's server and they have absolutely no access to it and only you do. Now, I heard a little birdie tell me that Space Invader 1 is working on a video to show this feature off. So definitely be sure to head over to his channel, like and subscribe to it if you're at all interested in seeing Tailscale pull off that functionality right there. It is very interesting, I promise you. As a part of this discussion, I highly recommend checking out the Tailscale Magic video that's on this channel. So that way you can get a lot more information about exactly what's going on. For instance, in that video, they'll talk about NAT traversal, remote access, TS.NET certificates, Tailscale serve versus funneling, and so many more topics. It's a worthwhile video and I promise you, if you're at all interested in learning about Tailscale, why this integration is important, there's plenty of information in there to really help you wrap your mind around it. Excitement is a brewing as we move into November and people are asking the question, will there be a discount on Unraid licenses? Yes, there will be a Cyber Weekend sale where you can pick up a Starter or Unleashed license and the sale begins on November 29th, runs all the way through Cyber Monday, ending on December 2nd. Now there's additional details in there that I'm not fully aware of at this time, as such as prices as well as bundles and upgrade discounts. So definitely keep your eyes peeled on social media because there's gonna be more information that's released later. And I think the best way to get these information is if you're subscribed to the newsletter. So if you haven't done that already, go ahead and get subscribed so you can get the most up-to-date information as it gets released. 
Looking for additional Unraid community content? Well then be sure to check out one of these videos that you see on your screen here. And maybe you'll find something to scratch that itch that you've been looking for. Be sure to drop a like or subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thank you all for watching the Unraid October Digest.